Hey my beautiful angel, it's Josie and in this video you are going to receive a direct message from your guides, from your angels. You have been asking, you have been praying for answers. So that's why you see this video. I am channeling that guidance for you. So all you have to do is to use your intuition. Use your own intuitive abilities, your intuition, and connect with your angels. Right here, there are four options, four cards. Each card has a message for you. So use your intuitive nudge intuitive guidance and pick a number or ask a question and pick a number whatever you want you are guided so choose a number right here okay, awesome now i will be using my angel oracle cards and in the description below you will find the timestamp for your number go right ahead click on it and go straight to your message and wait before you go be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos all right so my beautiful angel if you chose card number one here is your message from your angels are you ready i know you are a blessing in disguise a blessing in disguise so here's the thing there is a situation in your life that is happening right now but you don't see it as a blessing you see it as just a negative event something to do with other people and you are stuck that's where you need to clear all of these blockages and negative thoughts and negative feelings see the bigger picture Focus on gratitude, focus on good things, everything in your life that is positive, that is happy, focus on that. And in the future, when you look at this situation, you'll see the blessing, you'll see the blessing in it. You're here to grow. That's what angels want to remind you. Your soul did not want to play small. And you also need to set boundaries with other people. That's what I'm hearing setting healthy boundaries really standing up for yourself you don't need the permission of other people to do whatever you want to do no one is there to give you permission it's what you decide is where you are going is your dreams your intentions your vision that's what your life is about it's not about someone else's opinions it's about you it's about what you have in your heart and when you follow your heart you will hear a few negative comments here and there so don't get stuck on these negative comments don't get stuck on negative thoughts simply just remove them let them go and focus on gratitude focus on things in your life that are magical and beautiful and you are going to create something beautiful you're moving in the right direction when you focus on good future all right my beautiful angel if you chose card number two let's see what angels have to say to you divine purpose divine purpose so when this card shows up is to remind you about two things is to think bigger Maybe right now you're dealing with an obstacle, but you're stuck because your vision is too small. You're dreaming about kind of a daily things and angels want to encourage you to think bigger, to have bigger dreams. Now write down on the piece of paper as if everything was possible. Everything you wanted was already available to you. So write down number two ask for your life's purpose ask about clarity and connect with your own intuition your own higher guidance really ask your spirit guides your angels about your future what do i need to do what am i here to do how can i really use my gifts and keep on asking every single day just ask 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 it's okay to ask when you really ask yourself what am i here answers come and then you act upon these answers maybe it's to 
educate yourself, then you will be guided to the right teacher, to the right mentor. Maybe your job is to create something beautiful like music or art. Again, your soul, your inner guidance is going to tell you. And that's what you do. You ask deeper questions, you ask yourself, and then you receive intuitive answers. And you follow on them. You follow up on them. So eventually you will discover, you will reconnect. It's all about reconnecting with your life's purpose. So think bigger, ask deeper questions and you will be guided. All right, so my beautiful angel, if you chose card number three, here is your message from the angels. Are you ready? Archangel Michael is helping you. Hmm. Archangel Michael is helping you. So you have direct assistance of Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael shows up in moments of need. If you have any urgent need for whatever it is, maybe it's for your health, for protection, for your financial situation, for your relationship, ask Archangel Michael for his energy so he can help you and then be open-minded really pay attention to the signs and symbols that show up archangel michael has specific signs and you can find on youtube i've done lots of videos about the specific signs from archangel michael but for now pay attention to number seven number four and number nine so you will be noticing these numbers wherever you are and that's the sign from Archangel Michael that you are guided, you are protected. And also remember that angels communicate with the whole network of other angels. They're communicating with your departed loved ones. They're communicating with your spirit teachers and healers. So it's kind of a network of higher beings involved in service and helping us on the physical journey. So. Archangel Michael is with you and Archangel Michael is ready to help you. So trust the guidance, follow the signs and thank Archangel Michael for being there for you. Okay, so my beautiful angel, if you chose card number four, here is your message from angels. Focus on family, focus on family. So now this is a message about you and your relatives, people closest to you. Could be your significant other, your brothers, your sisters, your parents, or even people whom you consider a family. So if there is any disagreement, there's a conflict situation, it's time to resolve it. And I also feel like there is like a struggle of egos. Uh, there are egos opposing each other. My point is better than yours. My thing is better than yours. So there's a kind of a competitive energy that is very ego-based. And that's what creates a lot of tension. It's just like a competition, who's better, but no one's better. No one is superior or inferior. It's, it's a family. So look at the situation from a perspective of a family. Reach out to your loved ones and they, or have a conversation with them. Ask them, can we just, you know, forget all about it? Can we just focus on the blessings that we have as, you know, in a family situation? So reminding and being kind, the kindness is the word that is coming through. A lot of forgiveness, a lot of letting go. So for you, if you are really struggling right now and you don't have the direct connection with your family, maybe it's time for you to forgive and let go of the old issues related to events that happened when you were a child and especially if your family was very much involved in that situation it is time to forgive that's it and release let go knowing that your best future your best days are still ahead of you there's so many things that you can do but it's time for you to let go of the conflict of the competitiveness it's time to make sort of take the first step and let another person know that you are 
free from judgments and you are just ready for peace. Let's make peace a priority. So here is your message for the card number four. Let me know in the comments below the lessons that you have learned from these messages and what you are going to do today to listen to your angels.